Hi guys, welcome to BMG Tutorials. Today we are going to look at change of subject. And change of subject happens to be very important in mathematics. So far as mathematics is concerned, you do a lot of a lot of uh, making variables or letters a subject in case you are asked to make any variable or letter a subject from a, a question or equation. So without wasting my time, I'm going to take you through this four examples so that at the end of solving the four examples you will master how to make a variable the subject or how to make a letter the subject out of equation so with, um, we take the first example which is makes x the subject of the equation 2x plus y equals x plus 7y right so when we are asked to make a variable the subject, you'll be given an equation like this. Then we are, you'll be asked to make one variable or one letter the subject. And if you are asked to make a variable or a letter the subject, this question or question one, we are asked to make x the subject, right? So we will put the question or we have our solution. Solution one, we have 2x plus y equals x plus 7. We have, we have 2x plus y equals x plus 7y. So this is the question. And you are asked to make x the subject. Right. So we have 2x. And the first thing you need to do is if the question does not involve a fraction or bracket, you go straight to the point and group like things. If it involves fraction, let's say for instance we have improper fraction. Firstly, you change from improper fraction to proper fraction. Then after getting, the, um, after getting to your proper fraction, you find the LCM for the denominator that you, you will have then. Also, you do away with the fraction by multiplying the LCM throughout the equation to get rid of the fraction. And after that, if there is any bracket, you remove the bracket or you get rid of the bracket as well. And then you group like terms. From there, you will be able to make the variable that you are asked to make the subject and to be very easy. So now we don't have any fraction, we don't have any bracket. So quickly we group like terms. And we are looking for x, so we group all x in one side. And we have these two x. Because we have this x here at the back of the equal sign, we bring it to this side. And because here it is positive, when it crosses the equal sign to this side, it becomes negative. So we have 2x minus x equals 7y, which we have it here already. Then this y will also go there as minus y. When you get this, you have group like things. We have all x being one side, and those without x are the other side. So we have 2x minus x will give you x equals 7y minus y will give you 6y. So that is that for this first question. So make x the subject from this equation. This is how it will, it will be. Then we look at the next, the next example, example 2. Example 2 also says that make kill the subject. We have to make kill the subject of the equation 2m q plus 2m equals 1 half q plus 5. Right. So we have 2m q, 2m q plus 2m equals 1 half plus 5. Remember, I've already told you that when the question involves, first you check if it, uh, it has any improper fraction in the question. Here we don't have any improper fraction, but we have proper fraction. So what we are going to do is we are going to get rid of the fraction. And getting rid of the fraction, we look for our LCM. And the LCM here is 2. So we are going to multiply this 2 throughout the equation to get rid of the fraction. So we have 2 multiply this 2mq plus 2 multiply 2m 
equals 2 multiplying this 1 half Q plus 2 multiplying this 5. So this is how you multiply the LCM through the equation. So we have 2 by 2MQ two will give you 4MQ plus 2M will give you 4M that is 2 by 2M will be equal to so now we have this 2 cancelling this denominator or this 2 here leaving us Q plus 10 right now we've gotten rid of the fraction and if we are to continue we have 4MQ plus 4M equals Q plus 10 now we are looking for Q so what we need to do is to group like things so just bring this Q here and take this for there we have 4MQ minus Q equals 10 minus 4M. I think up to this stage it's very simple and easy. Right. So now you have your 4MQ minus Q, which is this one coming here, equals this thing we have here already. Then we take this positive 4M to that side as negative 4M. Then we have Q outside into brackets. We are factorizing Q out. So we have Q outside into brackets 4M. When you take Q from here, you'll be left with 4M. Minus here we have 1Q. We're taking Q, so we have 1 remaining here equals. So you, can, you have to factorize or simplify each side to the lowest thing that you can't do anything about it again. So you can see we can do factorization here as well. We can take two out into brackets. We have five here minus two M. Right. So up to this stage, you factorize the side, you factorize that side as well. Now we have four Q, uh, we have Q into bracket 4m minus 1, bracket close, we have 2 into bracket 5 minus 2m. So we look for, or we divide both sides by 4m, 4m minus 1, here also by 4m minus 1. And because we are looking for q, we just take this one to cancel of this, then we have our q, therefore our q to be equal to 2 into bracket 5 minus 2m all over 4m minus 1. So that is how we go by this also in making Q the subject. Very simple. So we look at the next example. We look at the next example. That is example 3. Example 3. Now we are to make M the subject from the equation in example 2. So we are to make M the subject rather here. So the same question, we are to make M the subject from the same question. First, for example 2, we make K the subject. Now we are to make M the subject. The same way, you just go by the same method we have 2, which is the LCM, multiplying 2MQ plus 2 multiplying this 2M equals 2 multiplying 1 half Q plus 2 multiplying 5. 2 multiplying 5. Then we have here to be 4MQ plus 4M equals Q plus 10. Now, we have M, all the M to be at this side. We don't have M there. So we have already grouped like terms, or the question has already grouped like M to itself. So what we are going to do is you do your factorization, right? So we are going to factorize M out. So we have M, sorry. We can factorize 4M, but we are in need of M. So just consider only the M and leave the 
add out it. So we let's take m out. We have four q plus four equals q plus ten. We want m. That is why we did not consider the four uh, uh, to be part of the factorization that we are doing here. So we just divide here by four q plus four. Here also 4q plus 4. Then we take this to cancel this one, then we have our m equals q plus 10 over 4q plus 4. Here we can go further to do our cancellation. So we can just, here one we have here also 3q and um, we can say 2 will go here to be 5, 2 will go here to be 2. So we can say we have m to be, therefore m to be equal to 6 over 3q plus 2. Right. So we have m to be equal to 6 over 3q plus 2. And it is very simple as well. Right, so that is how we make M also the subject. We go forward to consider the next example. And I hope you are enjoying the lesson. It's very simple. Change of subjects is very, very important. It's very simple as well. When you meet any question that involves or that requires you to make any variable the subject, you should be able to do it in very easy steps. Then we look at the last question, which is make r the subject from the equation 4 bracket open r squared plus 2t equals 3 plus 12t. Right. So we have 4 into brackets. Example, example 4. 4 bracket open r squared plus 2t bracket close equals 3 plus 12t. 3 plus 12t. Now, I have already told you, we've seen some of the questions that involves fraction that we get rid of the fraction. Now we have a question with brackets. And I told you, you have to get rid of the bracket first. And by getting rid of the bracket, we expand the bracket. And for multiplying those in the bracket, we have 4r squared plus 4 by 2t will give you 8t equals 3 plus 12t. Now we have our bracket being our getting rid of. So we have 4r squared, 4r squared. We are grouping like terms. And when you are grouping like terms, remember or please group all the variables or the, the terms that cons, uh, consist of the variable that you are asked to make the subject. Right, so here we have 4R squared equals 3 plus 12T. Then we take this one also there, minus 8T. So we have only R with this 4 standing alone at the side. Then we have our, we can simplify here, go ahead and make Another step, we have 3t, um, 3 plus 12t minus 8t will give us 4t. Then, after getting to this stage, we have our 4, this r attached by this 4. So get rid of this 4 by dividing both sides by 4. 4 will be taken off with this. Then you have your r squared equals 3 plus 4t over 4. Please don't take this 4 to cancel this. Please don't do that. We have r squared equals 3 plus 4t. Then we can just apply our square root sign because we are not in need of r squared but we are looking for r. So our square root sign will remove this square. Then we have therefore our r to be equal to square root of 3 plus 4t all over 4.
So that is how you go by this also. And it's very simple. When you meet a question and you are required to make any variable or letter the subject, you should be able to do it. Consider change of subject to be very, very important in mathematics. So when you are learning, you have to take you have to pay good attention to it and master it very carefully so that when you meet any question regarding um, change of subject, you should be able to do it in very easy terms. So thank you. And in our next tutorial, we are going to look at simultaneous equation that comprises word problem. And we are going to treat word problem and simultaneous equation at the, at the same time. So please do follow us and uh, let's move together so that you then get or you don't miss out anything. Until we meet again, stay blessed and stay safe.